So once again, I would like to greet you all as one of the organizers of the symposium. Um, I had a great part of the burden, and the, uh, I am presenting this paper on behalf of the group of authors. Uh, we are doing this for the first time in Serbia. There are no papers uh, covering this uh, topic on the presence of aflatoxin in the liver of uh, uh, hair. Um, few notions uh, on the content of, of uh, feeding of uh, hair brown hair. Just to mention that habitat of brown hair in Vojvodina is uh, now changed to biotope and the hair nutrition in agrobiotop today is based on leguminoses, uh, on grass uh, and uh, brown hair likes uh, uh, the habitat, uh, which is full of different uh, spe plant species. Now we have a certain negative shift uh, in the choice uh, of feed uh, for uh, brown hair. We have uh, numerous, uh, very large areas with uh, one monoculture. These are mostly industrial monocultures, which cannot help uh, feeding uh, of a brown hair. Many protective uh, spermis, uh, preparations are used, uh, and they all have negative impact on the population of brown hair. Uh, we have the so-called harvest stress. The harvest stress uh, includes um, the, at one moment, the abundance of feed, but on the other hand, in a short period of time, hair will be without any food. Let's go back to uh, the topic of this paper. The presence of many matters in the production, first of all, including mycotoxins, which under certain conditions have a great problem in the production of food for domestic animals. From the point of view, we try to see that we are certain that if this is a problem in uh, husbandry, then it is also a problem for uh, games. Uh, aflatoxin is one of the most cancerous uh, substances, uh, and it is the outcome of a production of aspergillus uh, uh, and it is most often the uh, result of uh, extreme conditions. As for the contamination, contamination goes through inhaling or through the diet. Uh, uh, the target uh, tissues uh, in which aflatoxin uh, expresses its negative effects and in which it could be detected are liver, first of all, uh, first of all kidneys and then the liver. In this paper, we analyzed the situation on liver. It would be useful if we had done it uh, in kidney. However, uh, first of all, uh, we uh, started last year, and uh, this was uh, learning by doing uh, in our work. Why are we focusing on aflatoxin in 2012? Because that year, 2012, was one of the most extreme years uh, regarding the uh, dry season. We did not have uh, enough uh, precipitations. In 2012, we had 
crisis in our government because of the occurrence of aflatoxin in the food chain, both including animals and humans. There are papers which deal with these topics, saying that 63% of analyzed maize the samples was contaminated by aflatoxin. It says that we had the great problems with contamination of aflatoxin in the fields and also during the harvesting period. This is the map which shows precipitation during uh, July and August. These are the official data. We can see that uh, those were extremely dry uh, or very dry or extremely dry uh, areas. The, the end of July and the beginning of August were extremely hot and dry. At that time, the uh, silk of maize in the process of developing, and then this is the moment where aspergillus and the production of mycotoxins starts. The uh, liver of brown hair was a target tissue uh, of the animals studied uh, in Vojvodina, which is the northern part of Serbia. Uh, the harvesting mass uh, uh, was used uh, for the sampling of uh, Livers, ELISA test was used for the analysis. All the analyses were performed um, in the laboratory of agricultural faculty of Novi Sad. Uh, before the analysis, uh, we performed the validation. Uh, including the minimum and the maximum and the adjustments of uh, the method uh, for the future analysis. The total of 167 specimens of brown hair was taken into the analysis. 167 individuals, uh, which was performed from eight different locations. These are the names of the locations. Uh, now this is the map which uh, shows Bačka Topola. These are the spots uh, for the specimen taking, Bačka Palanka, and then Plandište Vogan Sonta. These are the names of the localities. Uh, so we try to use uh, different regions of uh, Vojvodina uh, for the sample taking. The following results were obtained. The most alarming situation was with this uh, Bačkatopola area, with out of 25 uh, samples of liver taken, three were from 1 to 1 1.5 micrograms per kilogram. And uh, the highest number was in the group of 1.5 uh, micrograms per kilogram, 12 samples. This is uh, an extreme situation only at that locality. For example, in other localities, Sonta and Bačka Palanka and in Pladište, the situation was somewhat different with sporadic occurrence of uh, contamination. Other localities had increased levels in the group of one to one and a half micrograms per kilogram. It was contaminated from 39 up to 19 a percent uh, of the analyzed samples. So in this uh, area, there was high contamination and somewhat uh, higher in SREM, while in the area of Vajka, we did not have uh, that high contamination regarding the samples we analyzed. 
graphical presentation, uh, as seen here, is better explanatory. Uh, this is uh, the sample with the highest uh, intake of contaminated samples with a level of 1.5 uh, ppb uh, per kilogram. Then we have Sonta with the almost uh, no uh, samples. Statistically seen, Bachkatopola is significantly uh, different from uh, other areas, it has a high level of aflatoxin as compared, compared to Sonta. And between these uh, localities uh, with the low levels of contamination, as for the conclusion, we could say that we are doing this for the first time. We do not have the history uh, of the earlier analyzed samples. Uh, foreign literature uh, only mentions this uh, in some of the German papers, but mostly done in the form of uh, analyzing uh, of some of the samples uh, from veterinary aspects. Uh, the uh, influence on the tissue, we were not in the position to compare uh, with uh, some concrete results. And we are uh, very uh, certain that it was an extreme year based on the analysis of maize uh, in comparison with the earlier years. As for the conclusion, we could say that consumption of uh, uh, harvest uh, reminders uh, of a monoculture uh, with the uh, predominant maize, uh, the rabbits did not have uh, green corridors and they, the, the hares were forced. They were forced uh, to use that maize which was contaminated of poor quality and we are certain that this is uh, the uh, consequence of uh, such a uh, high contamination, especially in the region of Bajkatopola. I would also like to mention that this paper did not take into consideration a harvesting plan and cultures. Uh, so we decided that it could also provide us with additional answers. We might be able to sample different uh, feed uh, on the harvesting areas, which could provide us with more concrete answers. Uh, this would be uh, instead of our conclusions, because we were not able to make uh, comparisons uh, of this year and other years. Thank you.